Hello everyone and welcome to this in-depth video about uh, Inbox AI. It's um, the 1.1 build where I added audio commands and today I want to show you a little bit of a demonstration of it all. So it's an AI powered personal productivity tool that does automation and it has a focus on email processing but it also does other triggers. So basically you can use it to filter email, filter out junk uh, with AI, extract tasks, summarize and more. But you also get a lot of other stuff, like you can take screenshots and audio commands in order to get stuff up and running. Now, in this video, I'll show you a variety of these and some of the integrations that you can actually build yourself. So let's get started. Send an email to myself reminding me to pick up some flowers. So this is an audio command and it actually uh, just builds an email uh, and it sends it to yourself. Now, since it also does email processing, uh, I can just send that email and while we wait, we can see that eventually this email, as it goes out, it will be processed by the AI or on device in this case and added over here. Now, we can also just add this using voice. Hey, can you remind me to pick up those same flowers? Um, do it uh, maybe tomorrow. So in this case, it will directly add it into the reminders app. Hopefully. There we go. Reminder to pick up those plain flowers again. Now, what you can also do is integrate with many other applications. So for instance, can you add something to my Obsidian daily note about the Roman Empire? Now, if we go over here, you can see, hey, today's note on the Roman Empire. Add something else to the Obsidian note uh, about Inbox AI and why it's cool. And you can even ask, see that it will add these things together as we did. Okay, some other stuff that we can show. Now, I already showed draft email, append to daily note, but you can also do stuff like ask chat GDP or ask perplexity or even ask Claude. So let's start. What is the capital of Spain? And uh, let's ask perplexity. Now, this should open a perplexity with Apple's capital of Spain. Now, for the quick viewers over here, you can also see all of these commands are all customizable. And they're as simple as just going into and saying like, hey, just open perplexity with this URL command. And the open browser command is simply this one. So if we can say, hey, can you open Notion for me? Then it should open the Notion website. And you can also see that, hey, there's some tasks here too. So if I want to use Notion instead of um, the Apple Reminders, I can simply replace the Apple Reminder um, by the Notion tags. You can also have them both, but then the AI easily gets um, confused because they're all about tasks. Can you add the uh, reminder to pick up flower to Notion, please? Now, hopefully if this works, then we go here and it will pick up the flowers. And the same works for, let's say, Let's we add over here. Uh, what else do we have? To do is, which is one of the other apps. Let's open that one up. There we go. Add a reminder to pick up some flowers to to do is for me. Now I promise to also show you the other feature, and that is to take a screenshot. Uh, if you take a screenshot, you can circle something or you can put a rectangle around it and it will actually be processed uh, as an AI command. And in this case, I, I set it up to set my um, tasks to Tana. And here you can see every little bit of this is customizable. So in this case, process screenshots with extract tasks and add. And here the audio command is all in. The whole audio processing is on device. The email processing is on device. And if you want, all of the AI can also be on device. But especially for the somewhat more complex commands, I would still recommend doing the open AI one until the actual sort of on device models get a little bit better. You can also do all kinds of cool stuff with email filtering, which I said before. So this was task extraction, but you can also have an AI based email filter, which basically says, Hey, anything commercial that has HTML in it and um, just move it to junk. And then here is a list of things that you can do. Hey, if it's junk, move it to the junk. And these are actually native actions where you can set flags, set the background color, move it as red, move it as unread, all kinds of these things. And again, these are fully customizable. So you can build your own. Everything that has an API, everything that can handle a terminal command, like what I showed with Obsidian, can be integrated in the same way. So 
This is a brief five minute in overview of what Inbox AI can do. Go and get it on the App Store.